Welcome back to 13 on your side, everybody, and happy Halloween. We couldn't let Halloween go by without a little bit of extra spooky fun. Now, while some of you will be lighting your jack-o'-lanterns tonight, we have a little bit of a science twist on it. We're joined this morning by Chad Taco. Thank you so much for being here, professor from Calvin University. We've got some fun in store. We do. Thank you so much for having me. I thought that we would start with a little uh, Halloween toast. Okay, so, Halloween you know, we've toast, got some why mugs, not? We've got a little cider. Let's just uh, maybe put a little something in there and see okay. if we can do something. I know it won't be a right. Oh, look at that. Right there. Cheers, everybody. Okay, what's happening inside this cup? Because yeah. that's not your average apple cider. This is not. <laughs> Meyer doesn't sell that one. However, what we've got is an old reaction. We've got calcium carbide, which is going to react with the water in our apple cider to generate some acetylene gas. And that acetylene wow. gas, it's flammable. Incredible. Now this is exactly what we want to do in our Inside pumpkins. Inside the pumpkins themselves. So I've got a couple of pumpkins. Okay. We've got some calcium carbide in there. Should we blow them up? I think we absolutely should give it a shot. All right. All right. Oh, I'm a little nervous, but how fun was that? Okay. All right. Let's see if the magic of chemistry will save us right now here. All okay. right. So I'm going to take one lid off. You'll take the other lid off. Now Perfect. I've just got some water here. Is there anything inside the pumpkin right inside now? Inside the pumpkin, there is a little bit of that calcium carbide. Okay. Yep. And once the water goes in, it'll start making some acetylene gas and we'll see if we can uh, maybe finish our pumpkins here. Okay. Sounds great. So this is kind of a fancy way to carve the pumpkin this out. This is our lid on. Lid on. Okay. Now we give it a minute, maybe a one, two, Let three. Let it stew. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Whoa! Oh my goodness! Extra explosive this morning. <laughs> yes. And, <laughs> and so this is why we wear the safety goggles. This is safety Correct. first yes. every time. <laughs> Now we yeah, do was this. Incredible. We do this with our students. We do this with kids at Calvin. Yes. This is one of those moments where the joy of chemistry. Mm -hmm. We should start people young and Absolutely. have them continue all the way through wherever their lives take them to love what science can do. Yes, and you teach this starting at a very young age, correct? We do. We have fifth graders that come to Calvin University every year and we do demos just like this with them. Mm -hmm. And then, hopefully, they come and as students at Calvin, we continue during their really hard studies, we take a couple moments of levity to just remind ourselves the joy of chemistry. And I think so many people get in science classes, they get in math classes, and they think it's so stressful, it's so hard, and then you see the fun side of it, things like this that really spark that extra special interest. And you had an event yesterday that you did this at. We did. We got all of our chemistry and biochemistry majors together and we blew up 24 pumpkins. Wow. It was a great event <laughs> just to take a little break in the fall semester, blow some pumpkins up and enjoy the output of a really hard working student body. Now, is this safe to do at home? There is no way I would recommend <laughs> you do this at home. Okay, we had to get that part out there. Thank you so much for being here with us this morning. What a fun way to kickstart our Halloween. We, of course, have more news and weather for you coming up.